the back. Day, guys another day another gym fit let me not act like I didn't just wake up it is 12 20 in the afternoon and I just need to sleep I've been house sitting for the past two days so it was nice to be back in my own bed again and honestly recover after that leg day on Monday that I had so I'm wearing shorts and a sports bra from Alphalete today because it is so hot like honestly this heat wave <laughs> It's too hot to be leaving the house. It's too hot to be doing anything outside. So pray for me in these streets. But I'm going to go to the gym and then I got some errands to run afterwards. All right. I forgot that I got this from Amazon. Not really sure why the box is so freaking big. But I'm going to cut into that in a second. Just about to make my pre-workout. Girl, we need it. I, I cannot believe I ate the food that I ate. Like, honestly... It was a s'mores dip. <laughs> I like kept reheating it. I don't even know if I showed a clip of it, but I mean, it reheats pretty well. <clears throat> Not me choking on the pre-workout. So that was exciting. It was just so good. And honestly, whatever. There's no point in like dwelling on the past. I already ate all the food. I'm definitely feeling squishy and tired. And I'm pretty sure I'm tired from all the crappy foods that I consumed. So, I don't know. That was definitely a cheat day for sure. Not my proudest moments, okay? But I'm going to get into this Amazon box. I already know what it is, so just thought I would show you guys. And I already put it up on my Amazon page as well. I was like, hold up. I know I got something that was pink. Why is it black? But this is just the case. So I got a barbell pad for the gym. And I just wanted to have my own. We have some in the gym, but they don't have straps on them. I'm pretty sure people probably bought them personal ones and then just left them in the gym. They don't have straps. So I never touched them again. Like I just wanted to have my own. Right now I've been lifting without one. And I definitely have a big bruise like here. Um, on my back and it's very tender I mean it's still I don't know I feel like I can still lift without a barbell pad but I feel like the heavier I'll go which I want to start increasing weight the more uncomfortable it's going to be and I know I'm going to want to have one of these for my hip thrust and stuff as well so I just decided to go ahead and pick up this pink one from Perfect Peach on Amazon so this one's a little bit different okay so this one has velcro the ones in the gym don't have the velcro i think they're missing the straps that go on them so this is good i don't have to like thread anything on just have to open it up pop it on the bar and then secure it so this is nice nice and squishy i don't know do you girls use a barbell pad and do you feel like it makes a difference 
or is it just uncomfortable? I don't know. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm not doing legs today, you guys. Like my legs are still so sore from my workout on Monday. So leg day will be tomorrow. And then I'll test this out. It smells very weird. I'm not gonna lie. It smells very like a swimsuit chemically. So I don't know, but I do appreciate that it has a case um, that goes along with it. So that's my recent Amazon order. I love how every other car is a freaking Jeep. <laughs> Game life. Honest question. Anyone else over summer already? Like, I'm just trying to get to the fall vibes, the cozy outfits. Ooh, speaking of cozy, I just got a delivery on my way out from Nordstrom, so I'm gonna unbox that for you dolls, and it's like a fall thing. I'm like stocking up on my fall wardrobe because I have no clothes. I have no freaking clothes. I already revamped my workout gear, but a crap ton of Alphalete stuff. So the next thing for me to revamp and just start fresh with is loungewear and then actual essentials and basics. So that's what I've been doing. And I've been doing a lot of online shopping while I was house sitting, girl. If y'all follow me on IG, you know. <laughs> So I got a lot of DMs haul 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 so I'll be doing that when those items ship um, But I'm already just in the mindset of I don't want any more heat wave I'm so done with this humidity like it's so hot to wear actual clothing That's why I live in workout gear, but I want to experience the fall vibes on the East Coast Because there is no fall like fall just does not exist in LA, right? It's just so different. I mean, it's fall at night, but we don't get the leaves changing and the leaves falling like I want to have a true fall experience here and I'm excited for that because I haven't had it in a long time like pumpkin patch vibes like the hot coffees like literally all of that so after my birthday is over I'm mentally gonna be well let's be real I'm already in the fall spirit okay but when my birthday is here which is next month which is crazy I'm gonna be just all about fall vibes so I can't wait for that but I just need to know am I the only one that is in this mindset right now like I just cannot like right now it's 93 degrees it is like it feels like a sauna in my car and I mean granted the air is off because I don't want to have the audio bad for you guys but <laughs> Well, that escalated really quick. <laughs> Bro, I come out of Target and it's a freaking blizzard, not a blizzard, a storm. Oh my god. At the lake. I'm drenched. Oh my god, y'all can only imagine how humid and sticky and disgusting it feels. I'm not about this life. <laughs> I really wanted to go to Chipotle for dinner, but I don't know if I want to go back out. Maybe I'll see a rainbow. Looks like one of those Kennedys. Oh, it seems like it was literally just storming at Target. Because <laughs> it's dry as ever over here, but it was flooding. Nature is wild. Oh my goodness. So, after that rainstorm, that was so bizarre. That was so weird. It's like literally just um a rain cloud in the target parking lot <laughs> and it was coming down like a flash flood warning so i picked up coffee i'm so proud of myself you guys i was not tempted today <laughs> to stop and get a coffee while i was at target so i'm gonna make a coffee right now what time is it 2 50 and i'm gonna actually go shower and do my hair finally i've been wanting to do my hair for the whole week <laughs> it's gross it's sweaty it's dry 
drier than the Sahara Desert. So I figured I would go ahead and film my eight month post Big Chop update and all that good stuff while I do it. So that's why I'm having a coffee because I do want to upload that video to my channel today. So I have something to post for you dolls. It's like a slushy. So good. I almost got the hazelnut one, but I'm pretty sure I have a hazelnut allergy. They do a hazelnut non-dairy creamer, also from this Starbucks brand. So I wasn't really trying to test my luck <laughs> on that one today. But I do want to show you guys what I got in the mail while I'm here. And I was going to honestly wait until the rest of my Skims order like, came in. But I think this will be fun to wear in my video today since I'll be in the bathroom spa vibes. Um, and also in that video, I'll be able to actually give you a true review if I feel like it is worth it. Nice. Because it's a pretty penny. So I actually bought this on Nordstrom super quick. When I tell you I ordered this on Monday while I was online shopping at my dad's, it came in two freaking days, you guys. So they have really great shipping i don't know how to open this package um the reason why i got this from nordstrom the heck is because they were completely sold out on the skims website and i noticed that they have pretty much everything that's sold out on skims.com they have in stock on nordstrom.com so that might be a place where you guys want to go obviously you don't get the cute aesthetically pleasing packaging um when you order it online but this is what i got comes in this i'm not plastic bag which is biodegradable um this is the terry robe i believe in the shade marble yes the shade marble and i've been looking for a quality robe that gives me like hotel vibes and obviously it's really hot these days so this is more for like fall winter but whenever i'm like doing my makeup in the bathroom i don't necessarily want to put on a full outfit just yet or i just want to throw this on over the top of like my undergarments and i just want to like chill at home work from home whatever if i'm cold this is what i figured i would like so i got a size small for this and i'm hoping that it'll fit i don't want to put it on right now though because girl i was at the gym sweating so I'll have to wait till after I shower for that. But it's very thick. This is the tie. And it also came in like this brown color, but I feel like this is just, it just looked better in this marble shade. And I was looking for something like this for so freaking long, you guys, you don't even understand. So I feel like it'll be worth the investment. And, um, I don't know about doing my makeup now with it because it is white and I don't want to like stain it up, but you could always just throw it in the wash. So yeah. And it doesn't go all the way to the floor. It's like one of those. Oh, wow. It passes my knees. Okay. Well, I'm going to wear that after I shower and um, I'll probably catch up with you guys a little bit later just because I have work that I'm about to start right now. And I want to get this done relatively soon so I can actually chop it up and post it for you dolls. Oh yeah, the only exciting thing I got from Target was this Fall Vibes candle. Okay, I'm not playing. I want my room to be cozy. So these are great. They don't get toxic when you burn them or blow them out because it's soy wax. And they burn super even. So I got this blue cedar fig, which is very nice. It's kind of sweet and um, oaky or woody. Cedary, I guess. Mm, very, very good. So I'm going to burn that today. dinner tonight guys i'm super freaking lazy i have some chicken tenders going off like my extra crispy i'm gonna do a bunch of green beans i have some uncle ben's rice going on and then i'm actually gonna try the tomato ketchup with black summer truffle that i got recently from trader joe's and then i also have to finish off this barbecue 
this is interesting i don't like it on its own because it's literally the healthiest barbecue sauce there's no sugar to it it tastes healthy um, but i do like to mix it with other things like a honey mustard or something so that's what i'm going to be dipping my chicken tenders in and y'all know i just gotta get the carbs this is like such a random meal <laughs> But I'm always craving veggies and rice, so I like to mix that up with some like earth balance or whatever. Hold on. I don't think I've really ever had truffle. I don't even know like what it is. Alexa, what is truffle? According to Wikipedia. A truffle is the fruiting body of a subterranean Ascomyces fungus, predominantly one of the many species of the genus Tuber. In addition to Tuber, many other genera of fungi are classified as truffles, including Eophora, Zebra, Phyromyces, Lucangium, and Alexa, stop. Basically, it's a fungus. <laughs> it kind of tastes like cocktail sauce. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to add some of this barbecue. I don't know why I'm so weird. I just mix a lot of things together a special sauce recipe woo 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 I'm about to watch Love Island living my best life got like 100 calories in this butter I'm gonna just get it where I can you guys get it where I can get it it's hard out here Can someone please explain to me how this is two and a half servings of chicken? <laughs> I don't understand who makes these labels up. This is literally the whole box. And I just don't understand like two and a half where <laughs> there's no freaking way. I'm going to wear a long sleeve because I like to sweat and warm up and stuff. And whenever I'm like, I'm sorry, the gym is just nasty. I don't like my hair touching equipment. And I don't like my skin touching equipment, especially my back. I feel like that would give you breakouts, even though I wiped down the machines. But the thought of like Billy Bob sweating on the same machine like two seconds ago as me, like I'm not about to lean on that. So I do like wearing long sleeves, even though it's so freaking hot outside. I'm trying to figure out what perfume I want to wear today. Which vibe? Ooh, this one's very, uh nice you know what i'm saying i don't use my expensive stuff dust here um for gym because i'm gonna be sweating anyway so i like to smell good feel good put on a cute fit you know what i'm saying i'll probably take this off if i do get sweaty um but i'm just wearing the amplify collection y'all don't wear anything else i don't so i don't know why i keep even announcing that today is gonna be an incredible workout we are setting the intentions right now, you guys. Like, <laughs> excuse me. I want to burn at least 800 calories with my lifts today. I'm about to go up and wait on my plates. Like, I'm just, baby, I'm ready. I'm so ready. And I was looking at my quads yesterday. You guys saw me on the treadmill. I had the camera pointed down, and I was, like, stretching and stuff. And I was like, wow, we poking out. We are really poking out now. And one thing about squats, like I, I'm not a squat person because I'm trying to grow a big butt. I'm not really trying to focus too much on growing my legs um, a ton. So I prefer a lot of isolated glute workouts and I feel like squats really just target the legs the most. I mean a little bit of the glutes at the bottom of a squat, but not too much. So there are other workouts that I mostly do that I prefer that actually target the booty gains and i have a video on that so if you guys want to see what i do in the gym i'm going to do that today in the gym then you can click the cards above and see what your girl likes to do to grow the glutes i also have an at-home workout video for those of you guys that don't want to go to a gym but you want to grow your glutes that you guys can do that is super efficient that's what i did all throughout quarantine and i got amazing results with my bands and then just whatever dumbbells i had at home so i'll put that in the cards as well so you guys can check that out if that is something that you want to watch. Okay, let's get it in. Let's get it in. I bought that barbell pad. I can't wear this bag. It's not going to fit. It's in my car. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it today. I wanna try it today. This is my work bag, so I guess we'll just... Man, I did not want to switch bags today. Listen, Linda, I don't got time for this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna switch my bags out. Cause... I just have a lot of things for the gym. Oh, I need my extra batteries. I might film in the gym, I don't know, with that barbell pad and let you guys know if I recommend it. It was super inexpensive though, um, too. So that's why I kind of want to like mini review. I also have the ankle strap. This is like a must. If you want to grow the glutes and you want to isolate the booty, you got to do some kickbacks and you need to get one of those. So it's on my Amazon page just so much stuff in this itty bitty bag also this bag amazing i use it for the gym pretty much only for the gym and i love it like i love it it's cute it looks grown it's durable it's not too expensive i have a video also on what's in my gym bag um although right now and it's very realistic mine is always dirty um squished up Big bar, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. It's a big crystal, but it's still in there, girl. All right, I need to find like a beauty case for like my products. There's really just a lot going on. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this and I will see you guys in the gym. sweaty butt to chipotle let me tell y'all that thing is so freaking comfortable one also it's so easy to put on so the velcro didn't really come off or anything so of course y'all know i had to get the pink one they have a black one as well it um definitely absorbed my sweat so keep that in mind um, but it just made my workout so much more comfortable, you know, less strain on like my shoulder area. But um, I'm shaking. So I'm gonna go get me some protein and then I'll show you guys what I like to get from Chipotle. I'm gonna shower before I even think about eating it because I'm breaking out. It's all the sweat. Like I sweat so much, it's disgusting, but I love it. But my face and my skin does not. So I need to shower ASAP. Um, it's a terrible angle, I'm sorry guys, but I just wanted to update you guys on that barbell pad, and um, it's a 10 for me, so I highly recommend you girls get one if you are a gym rat like me, and you're trying to build a donk, and you just need your exercises to be a lot more comfy, especially with hip thrusts, because I have bruises um, on my area <laughs> from the barbell, bro, but that's gym life. So it's 10.30, Chipotle opens at 10.45. So I'll see you guys back at the house when I get there. So I'm at Chipotle, they're not open yet in like a minute. So I just logged my Chipotle order because I used to get burritos, which I still do, but now I'm like all about the bowls. I love it because you can just switch up what you want. So with everything logged, keep in mind, this is like two meals for me. I'll just split it up and then eat it 
you know, earlier in the day and then for dinner eat the rest. So it's roughly about 2,180 cows because you never really know when you go out how much you're not weighing it yourself. But the protein is 97 grams. 97 grams. Stay with me. 97 grams. Okay. So that is absolutely why I love Chipotle because it's high protein. It's delicious. They cook it for you fresh and you can just switch up whatever you want if you want to do a salad a bowl do the chips and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go order my stuff and um show you guys what your girl eats okay not really sure why the bowl looks like this but i had to go shower you guys it's not feeling good um i get extra pico because i don't like to reheat the pico when i want to have the rest of my bowl and then i always get guac on the side because i like it for my chips and also i don't want to reheat that if i don't finish it and my new order is getting a bowl so i'm not gonna lie they were pretty stingy at this chipotle i usually get more rice but I'll ask for extra white rice. I get one serve of black beans, one serve of pinto beans. I get extra chicken and then corn salsa in mine. And then I just love to go in with pico in every single bite. I also get chips as well. So I'm feeling that vibe. And again, 80, I'm sorry, 97 grams of protein. And it's incredible. It's so yummy. And I'm addicted. <laughs> so that's my Chipotle order, you guys. So freaking good. Hey, why is it so bright? Guys, what's good you guys? I was supposed to do like a weekend in my life, but I got caught up with like work and doing other videos, but I'm on my way to have lunch with my mom and my brother. Oh, hold on y'all. I didn't buckle y'all in. <laughs> so I'm heading to the Mosaic. I'm over here listening to my 2000s playlist. Let me over, bitch. Is that my mom behind me? It is. <laughs> Bro, she's zooming. She's zooming, lady. Anyway, <laughs> we're driving separate because I'm going to um, stay at my dad's for a little bit. Gotta throw these deuces up. Yo, I was jamming. Christina. I got VIP parking. Yo, my foundation is so light. I need to go to Sephora and get a darker color. Your what? My foundation. Oh, okay. I'm looking like Casper. All right, Michael is in. He got here quick. It's a nice day, you guys. It's hot. It's sunny. About to get some tacos. Um, I do want to get an outfit pick, although my fit is very basic today, but whenever I have makeup, y'all, I need to utilize this, okay? So, I'll see you guys when we get tacos. Well, did you want to go shopping first, or? There's a cute little farmer's market here. I've always wanted to come see it. I don't know if they're closing up or what. But I need to get something. I need to try something new. And or come back when it's popping. I just had tacos with my mom and my brother. And now I'm gonna go do something interesting. You're like, girl, what is that? This is from my tow kit in my car. Basically, if you get stuck in a ditch or you're off-roading and you get stuck in the sand, you can tow yourself out of a pickle. Well, that's not the case. Britain's no effect. Shout out to you, girl. She tagged me on Instagram to do a challenge, like the Jeep challenge, where you, it's essentially like a workout. You can push or pull your Jeep. And she just pulled hers, but I want to try and push and pull and see if I have the strength within me to actually do it. So I asked her this morning, did you put it in neutral? And she said, yes, make sure you're on a flat surface. My dad said the same, cause girl, you don't want the car to be rolling over you. So I'm gonna go out with my brother. He's gonna help me film actually for Instagram so I can post my reel. But we need to find a place. I think there's a few spots, like a commuter lot or something um, that is big enough with no other cars around uh, where we can try to attempt to do this and she said she said girl you could do it I was like I'm trying to be a beast like you I don't know so she hyped me up this morning so anyway that's why I have this because I'm gonna hook it around my 
like my bumper has like these hooks to tow it out, whatever. And um, we're gonna see if we can pull the Jeep. <laughs> I'm excited, but you know what? We gotta test the limits and see how strong your girl is. You know, I feel like I have trained my whole life for this moment. I have been in the gym every freaking day, busting my butt since April. So let's see if the gains are here and if they come through for your girl. So I'll probably set you guys down so you can kind of see the behind the scenes of the reel. I don't know, I feel like it'll look cooler with music and stuff, but copyright, so anyway. That's also why I look cute today, because I went out with my mom and my brother for lunch. Um, but yeah, I never actually opened up my toe kit, and it had gloves in there. It had this rope in there. I was like, all right, Jeeps. Come in with everything. So, <sighs> I just had a coffee, too, so I'm shaking. <laughs> anyway, I'm wearing a work outfit, so I can look cute, show off the the leg gains you feel me for this video and all day I've been thinking what song am I gonna use because honestly you gotta have the best song so it really looks good for the real and I'm such a music girl like music is just everything for me so I don't know I'm gonna keep thinking about the song I have a few in mind but we're gonna have to see how it looks and you know I just don't want to embarrass myself so I'm gonna just girl you got this you can do it you're strong you boss let's get it <laughs> These are my tow hooks right here. So I'm gonna rely on that to um, get a good grip with the uh, rope. So, oh girl, it's, it's a little heavy. Don't mind my nail, I broke it in the gym this morning. <laughs> ghetto, it's really ghetto. I'm actually excited about this, so. My dad's also supposed to be coming home within an hour. He's out of town right now. So I'm hoping to see him too. I have to go back home and do some work stuff tonight, like editing, because I had shot three videos yesterday, which was just such a great way to be productive on my Saturday, which is why I really didn't get that much footage um, for the vlog. So, yeah, man. to get my life together there's just a lot going on in my console right now look i'm trying to prepare myself and smell good so i feel good okay i think this has hooks on it so it'll hook onto the bumper so should no, i just go to the commuter lot and see if it's flat no. or we can go to the elementary school but that's a small lot so we'll see now i'm blazing my jeep and gt looks similar to yours I think, it's, I think it's the same model. I, I didn't know they had Jeeps in GTA. Mom said she's in tr crazy traffic. Yeah, but, Four, but you, can't, you, can't mod, you can't do any mods to them like you can in real life. But On the game? Because I couldn't put a tire wheel on the back because it's not happening in the game. But it looks, almost, it looks almost like it's probably inspired by the, the Jeep that you have, the model. I need to play GTA. Mom's? Yeah, she said you should probably wait a little bit to come home because traffic is so bad. All right, we're going to go drive around and find um, an open space, flat surface or whatever. Um, oh. What? Your high school probably best place to go. Oh, that's so far. I know, but it's it's a big parking lot. That's true. And it's, 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 it's not a whole lot of people. Okay, let's go to the commuter lot first. And then if it's not flat, we'll drive all the way up there. Water in here. Did you need anything? I locked the house. Yo, did you listen to Pop Smoke's album? Don't tell me no. <gasps> I heard some of the songs. Okay, okay. I'm not that offended. Dude, it's so good. That literally, that's everyone is on that. That's what happens after you RIP. I know. The music industry is kind of messed up. I wonder, like, who gets his money? That's the um, thing. The record labels, That's what I'm saying. Like, do they give it to his family or what? The record labels own it. Whoever owns his uh, masters. Does my car have to be on when it's in neutral? I don't, when I push it? I, haven't, I don't think so. I'm, right? Because I know when your car's in neutral and it's not started, it will still move. I'm going to call daddy and ask. Okay. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you have to put in. I don't think your car's... Behind 
fogo. Yeah, I'm struggling. This workout, let me tell you, get a yoga mat because ain't nobody got time to be getting cut up from the ground, but this is kind of fun. Get a partner, go outside, it's an empty lot, and work out. I feel like it's a prison workout though, not even gonna lie. You have, to, you have to push the brake a little bit. Okay, I'll just, push. I'll push the. Let me just, back up. Just a little bit, so there's a, like a little resistance. Let okay. me back up. <laughs> this is our activities, guys. It's the um the Fitzbo workout for me. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know. I'm pushing the brake. Okay, we, we moving. <laughs> people are probably driving by like, what the heck are these people doing? <laughs> Don't try this at home, y'all. All right, I'm not gonna press the brake now. He look, he's sweating. <laughs> he said I'm done. Was it hard? I was like kind of riding the brake a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. You don't need to pull out. I kind of want to pull it again if you brake a little. Oh, here, let me get him some wipes. Okay. I know it's the um, oil. Yeah, if you put a little bit of brake again. Yeah, because like, once you start pulling, it's just way too freaking you don't need easy. To put a lot of brake when you're going brake. I'm sorry. At home workout. Who is the Jeep workout for me? <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I am sweating a little bit, but I'm cute. Like, I can be a baddie and a boss in the gym at the same time, even with my broken nail. Like, you know, it's worth it. Dad, look at that energy. Look at those gains. They don't make them like this no more. I'm breaking too. Oh my god, he looks like he's gonna cry. <laughs> it's moving pretty quick. Yeah? You tap it out? You wanna keep going? I'm breaking. Oh my God, I don't want to run him over. <laughs> I'm proud of my brother, look at him. You got it, you got it, keep going. Yes, yes, you got it, you got it. Keep going, get low. Hard? <laughs> you done? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you have to see your face. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you look like you are giving it your all. 
thought you were gonna explode. <laughs> okay, how was it now with the brake versus without? I mean, it wasn't easy. Yeah, you could have more resistance. I feel like I'm gonna. Well, you don't wanna put a whole lot of brakes because you don't wanna mess your brakes up or yeah. you hurt yourself, but it's a little bit. Yeah. So it's a little harder than this. And once you get it rolling, it's gonna go. Yeah. Can I go now? Or you need a break? You want some water? Um, Are you gonna prop the camera so you get your reaction? Do you think I should put it out here on the floor? That was a good angle. Or you want to? Or you want people to see your face while you're? I don't want them to see me struggling real close. <laughs> well, you, you could do something for B-roll. Oh, I didn't get me pushing. They saw me pull, but honestly, I kind of want to do it again with more resistance because I'm sorry, that was way I too easy. I will record you going right here. Can you multitask like that? Because you know, this just for B-roll. Okay, let me back up a little bit. That way, you can get a little bit of a reaction while you're pulling it. You thought you were sweating, Doug. Wow, I love living in a place that's not the city because you can just do foolery like this. <laughs> All right, this is good. I'm gonna pull. I'm like, I'm really trying to pull right now. Boss stuff. Y'all gonna see me struggling. Nah, we we got this, girl. Can y'all see? Calluses. <sighs> Holy! I want to try to push now. Whew. If you have a Jeep, show me the sign of the emoji. But also, I challenge you guys. <sighs> I already ran over my freaking road. <laughs> but hey, I see more Jeep workouts in the future. All right, I'm gonna push. Should have enough space, huh? To do it. Hold on, guys. Oh, shit. I'll see that car. I was like, oh, not the police. <sighs> okay, I just want to record the same workout set that I did for my Instagram, just like a fun at home but outside workout. Oh, yeah. I'll fix it. All right, guys, let me go get my yoga mat, and we're going to do a fun outside workout that you guys can do in your city. Stay safe from the Rona, the Delta, whatever else is coming our way. We don't have to be at home all the time or even going to the gym. Like, sometimes, I'm sorry, the gym can be kind of boring, so maybe you want to switch up your sets, do something a little bit fun. <laughs>